And it is tragic that this, that Bradley, I won't call him a doctor, what, that what he did to so many victims is something that forced all of us to act as we did. And I'm hoping, and I know that even during our darkest days, when the worst of humanity became more and more clear, there were and there are people who are willing to help. Although this particular episode is, is focused on a, a doctor uh, who was a pedophile, uh, or a pedophile who was a doctor, maybe that's a better way of saying it, um, there are lessons and implications for all kinds of issues. Um, other folks who are regulated, um, other issues as it relates to how you try to make sure that the people who need to be talking to each other are talking to each other, even if it's across uh, branches or within the executive branch. It has to happen because criminals are crafty. These cases are hard. They are word against word. In 100% of the cases, when someone makes a decision, at least 50% of the constituencies will not like it. These cases are difficult and live in the shadows. The decisions live in the shadows. There's no concrete evidence. We can't be doubting Thomas and put our fingers in the side or in the holes. There are no pictures, videotapes, DNA, or the things that we traditionally look for in crimes. These are things that are decided on word against word, someone's credibility, someone's interest, the details that they give, the bias involved, and how all of those pieces fit together. And many of you who have done investigations know this. You have to weave all the pieces to bring the event together.